Look up, and chances are that you'll see some big clouds floating in the sky. And I mean big. Some clouds have been measured at 14 miles tall. That's the equivalent of 50 Empire State Buildings stacked on top of each other. These giants are powerful too. When water molecules cool and condense into clouds, they release the heat energy that caused them to evaporate in the first place. Even in a small cloud, this energy is equivalent to about 270 tons of TNT. That's some heavy stuff going on overhead. So how much do clouds actually weigh? Scientists at the National Center for Atmospheric Research wanted to find out, so they focused on a medium-sized cumulus cloud. Those are the white, fluffy cotton ball clouds. But the scientists had to work fast. Cumulus clouds only last between 5 and 45 minutes before mounting water vapor transforms them into wispy cirrus clouds. First, they had to figure out its size, which they did by measuring the width of the cloud shadow when the sun was directly overhead. Another bonus to cumulus clouds, they cast the biggest shadows. This one turned out to be about a half a mile. And since these cumulus clouds are fairly cubic, they determined that if it's half a mile across, it must be half a mile tall. Which means the cloud's volume was one billion cubic yards. Now cumulus clouds have a water density of one fiftieth of an ounce per cubic yard, or a thimble's worth in a big bathtub. So one fiftieth of an ounce, multiplied by one billion, is a lot. If clouds are so heavy, why don't they fall from the sky? Because they're not one large mass. They're made up of trillions of really tiny water droplets spread out over a large space, so much so that you need a million to make one raindrop. So, how much does a cloud weigh? 1.1 million pounds. The same as 100 elephants, or to be more precise, 1,353,846 pigeons.